Hi Scorpio! Welcome to your reading Scorpio. In this reading we'll be focusing on your person. We will take a look at your person's feelings, their actions, their intentions towards you. We'll also check your connection with this person and we will pull some messages of love for you Scorpio and for this connection. Okay? I pre-shuffled your cards, so let's see, Scorpio. Let's see. With whom we are connecting today for Scorpio? Could you please show me this person? We have the moon. We have a Four of Swords, Scorpio. We have a Three of Cups. Okay. We have an Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. And the devil okay at the bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune so it starts with the signs we have Scorpio Pisces okay so you might be dealing with Pisces I also have Capricorn and I have a fixed sign so Taurus Aquarius Scorpio so you might be dealing with another Scorpio and Leo Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. That's right. Excuse me. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. Scorpio. What I'm getting here is uh, someone who... With, um, I see, her, see uh, a situation that might be involving casual dating, okay, or some sort of... Um, for instance, uh, friends with benefits situations here, Scorpio. But I feel this person is very, very much blocked. Okay, it shows here somewhere, Scorpio. I feel who've been who you might have many cycles, who you might have had many cycles with. Okay, something here is cyclical. It seems that uh, this person might disappear, but they also have a tendency to come back okay I feel that you know this person and it might be your friend or it might be someone uh, for instance you might share environment a close related environment with each other like you have a friendship group for some of you it seems here Scorpio that um, the whole situation looks um, pretty unstable I'm getting here lost opportunity that something took off you know or something like seems to be quite great or had a potential but immediately it ended or you felt blockages this is someone Scorpio who has secrets um, who might not like commitment or who is afraid of commitment because we have the moon the moon shows that someone here has fears is afraid of something and also moves hold that sort of secrecy and and mentally it can even show some sort of form of lies attached to the situation okay i feel scorpio that this person indeed they really, really like you. They feel, they feel really comfortable in your company. You make them feel happy, but this is someone who might simply feel not ready for a serious commitment. For some of you, Scorpio, this person took a step back and there might be a no communication. It seems that with the, with the, world, with, with the Wheel of Fortune card, that it's, it's like a cycle. It's like a something, it's has a repetitive pattern when it comes to this connection or this person's behavior, okay? Because look, we have an Eight of Swords and then we have an Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. 
it shows that this person is blocked or feel restricted or feel unable to, to, to make certain moves. But then we have this beautiful op opportunity. But this opportunity is meeting the devil energy. Again, energy of holding back. This is someone who likes, I feel, attentions of others and has problems with commitment here. Very secretive energy. You might be dealing here a Scorpio with someone who is very secretive. Who recognizes the potential when it comes to this connection. But this is someone, Scorpio, who has unhealthy patterns. For some of you, there might be some addictions. It can be a case that this person likes too much of drink or they like just attention for others to the point of that they are, you know, casually entertaining others, let's say it that way. Because we have the devil and we have three of cups. This is a lusty energy. And, you know, this is, um, I feel that this individual feels that you might have had you might have had many conversations with them scorpio that they would say oh i want to change i recognize that my behavior might be not right but this is someone who ultimately doesn't want to change they are all words because we have a healing card the four of swords but this healing card is surrounded by the devil energy and the eight of swords this person is blocked again they are confused I feel that, yes, addictions might play quite significant role here or some unhealthy habits, okay? I feel that spirit has been giving them chances many times with this Ace of Pentacles. And this is something, again, if it's not a cyclical thing with regards to this person and your connection, something re repeatable here is happening. This person has habits and it's like a loop. They can't escape this loop. Partly because they don't want to do that. But I feel when it comes to you, Scorpio, and this connection, I feel that this person, it might be little communication between the two of you. You might feel that this person withdraw or they go quiet. This is someone who finds you incredibly attractive. But I feel that it might be a case, Scorpio, that this person promised you something. Or they uh, may appear that, oh gosh, they really kind of look like a, like a big deal. That can be my person, you might have thought, Scorpio. But the reality was completely different. The, re the reality was that this person didn't want it to give up on their ways, represented by the Three of Cups. I also strongly feel here, Scorpio, that if you had an ending with this individual, or if you feel that connection is, you know, maybe kind of is stuck, I see them coming back or making some sort of attempt to reach out because this person is very much missing you and I feel that they are obsessing over you here. But we'll take a look at this connection. What do we have? Okay, we have an Eight of Cups and we have the Star. Makes sense. I am um, I'm wondering if we're going to have a tower for this person's energy because it seems that spirit was giving them chances or it's still of course giving them chances to change but this is someone who who finds it very difficult okay we have the lovers mm -hmm. for this connection Scorpio we have a king of cups And we have five of pentacles. So on your side, Scorpio, we have an eight of cups. We'll clarify this card for you. Uh, eight of cups and we have the star. It seems, Scorpio, that uh, you, for a lot of you, you walked away from the situation because it seems it, it started being unhealthy, toxic. And I feel that uh, you decided to walk away because something or or this person, uh, at some point they start making you unhappy. 
Eight of Cups, it's a card of detachment, it's a card of walking away from something or someone that no longer uh, makes us happy or serve a purpose in our life. And I feel you made a decision to, to kind of detach from them, okay? Or withdraw your energy, not give much to the situation. With the star, I feel that you just um, wanted to heal. For some of you, this person really hurts you because of their of they ways. But there is a sense of direction, you know, she, she's walking here and we have a star. Stars provide this uh, sense of direction. There is this kind of very old romantic myth of, of, you know, follow the star and it will guide you or it will provide you the destination that you're looking for. And this is actually what it's showing. I feel, Scorpio, that you feel a sense of direction. For some of you, you might be still thinking about this individual and you might feel, <coughs> excuse me, that, um, that, that within time things can be healed between the two of you. Why I'm saying this? Because we have the lovers as a mutual energy. This is love. This is relationship. This is strong soul soul connection between two people you might have a soul contract with this individual or you might be dealing we'll see when we pull more cards but without a doubt here scorpio there is a strong bond between the two of you for some of you you might still be in in this connection with the lovers but i feel that you are slowly detaching if that's the case okay we are collecting with collective energy scorpio so this is a collective message for your sign so please take it that it resonates okay cross watches you are very much welcome but uh, the roles can be switched okay so it might be something that scorpio did to you you can read it that way but i feel either way i, I strongly feel scorpio that uh, you might be walking away I feel that you are detached. For some of you, you walked away from this connection. You still feel that in, how intense this connection is indeed. But I feel you made a decision and you actually know where you're going. You know what you want with this star card. And I feel that you are full of hope that certain th things can be resolved here in the right way. On this side, we have a king of cups. This is someone who has love for you. This person loves you, but this person has very unhealthy ways. And that's the problem. Five of Pentacles as an as a overall energy for this connection. I feel that uh, someone was giving too much here with regards to this connection. It was an equal give take. And ultimately, I feel that, and I'm seeing you, Scorpio, walking away. You might have felt emotionally depleted, feeling left out in the cold you might felt that this person at some point started you know was giving you um attention affection only when it was convenient for them because i see here someone who likes to who likes uh, party for some of you this is someone who just who who who, who can be quite toxic and again Addictions are coming forward very strongly. This is someone who needs to take who needs to take step back in order to recover Okay, this is very specific, but because it seems that they are like a prisoner of their own habit and I feel at some point Scorpio this person develop a codependent relationship chase around a dynamic and something here started being toxic. Therefore, I feel that you've walked away. You decided that that's not for me. I don't want to deal with it. I, I, I need to do my healing. And I tried to help, but this person is stuck in their way. So what am I supposed to do? They need to want this. They need to want this change. We have lovers. We'll clarify this. You might be dealing here with Gemini. I have Aquarian energy as well with the star. So let's see, could you please show me why the Eight of Cups and the star for Scorpio? Why the Eight of Cups and the star for Scorpio, please?
way too many. We have a five of cups, we take seven of swords. What do we have in here? Mm -hmm. I feel Scorpio that you wanted to work on the situation. You were very caring, very loving, very nurturing with the Empress. You are the Empress in this reading. You are providing them many chances and opportunities to kind of, you know, to listen to you, to work together. And I feel that you were quite precise and clear with your message. You might be dealing here with Taurus. I also have a Gemini energy. So we have at the bottom of the deck, okay, we have this five of pentacles again. So that's your energy, Scorpio. This person created obstacles. We have double, we have two fives here. A fifth of, fifth of May might be quite important, 55 number. Also 1955 for some of you. I strongly feel he here, Scorpio, that this person lied to you. They were sneaky. I feel they promised you something here that they've changed that they will change, but ultimately uh, they were they 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 were stuck in their habits, in their ways with the seven of swords. This is someone who was saying, Yeah, 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 of course, yes, no, everything's fine. And then suddenly they were just they were lying. They had secrets. And with the Five of Cups, I feel that for, for some time you felt really unhappy about the situation. Because Five of Cups represents sadness, disappointment, tears, regret. You see how this person, oh bless, bless this person, <laughs> bless this silhouette, this energy. is. I feel that you've been thinking about this situation for a long time and ultimately you decided that's enough for me. I can't take it anymore. I'm walking away because nothing is happening here. This person, they don't want to change. They are lying. They are sneaky. They are telling me different things. And it makes me feel unhappy. I feel that at some point you were very ho hopeful that things would change. But the reality was different. Ultimately, this person put you in this position as you felt being left out in the cold. You were the one trying to help. But they were, they didn't. They felt that they are on it, that they were unable to do that. Why the lovers? Why the lovers, please? Why the lovers? For Scorpio's connection with this person, please. Why the lovers for Scorpio's connection with this person, please? We have a page of cups. Why the love is for Scorpio's connection with this person. And we have a wheel of fortune. Cyclical thing. I feel Scorpio that this is a, a situation that it's, it's, it's re reappearing or it's like a loop. You have some sort of cycle with this person. It's not the first time. I feel that there were many endings and many beginnings when it comes to this individual because I feel that you are giving this person a chance, page of cups, chances, with the, with the will of fortune, cyclical, this is a cyclical, it's like a loop. There is love between the two of you. I feel that you truly love this person. The thing is that they're coming with love as well, but this is someone who has problems, serious problems. And they need to take time to recover, but I feel that, or change, but, but I feel that they just don't want to. They don't want to, they feel unable, but this is just a mindset. They can change it. They can free themselves from this devil energy. And spirit is providing this, or has been providing to this person many chances, many, many chances. It also shows that, you know, there is some sort of kind of energy of, of destined destiny wh when we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. These are nice cards, you know. 
the lovers to the page of cups to the wheel of fortune it shows that there is love between the two of you but the question is is it enough because I feel that you made a rational and logical decision that it might not be or and you might be in the middle of making decision to distance yourself detached or you've already walked away from this individual even if you feel that love is so strong between the two of you we have the emperor we had the empress we have the emperor you might be dealing here with your twin flame scorpio we'll see we'll see we'll pull more cards and we'll have a bigger picture but this is divine masculine we have divine feminine energy you might be dealing with aries with the will of fortune fixed sign again so in leo aquarius scorpio taurus let's see scorpio let's see this 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 king of cups why the king of cups for scorpio's connection with this person why the king of cups for this person's energy why 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 the king of cups thank you nine of wands Ten of Wands, nine to the ten. Okay, one more, please. Thank you. And we have Seven of Wands. So we have very strong fire. This is someone for some of you. This is someone who likes too much drink, okay, or who likes partying, or too much of a drink. I I'm sorry if, if I said it wrongly. Because King of Cups also can represent someone who might have a drinking problem. And we have lots of Cups energy surrounding by quite challenging, uh, quite challenging, difficult cards. So, and you know, we have also the, the Moon. <sighs> mm -hmm. This is someone who doesn't, um, who knows that they should change but they don't want to change here Scorpio and the thing is that it's it's burdening them I feel very strongly what I'm getting here okay here Scorpio is that this person that for instance some sort of habit or addiction it's like an escape for this person because nine of wands represents an individual who's been wounded uh, it is like a wounded warrior energy therefore they've been through something here and they might hold some sort of childhood traumas. This is someone who wants to forget about something. And in order to do that, they are, um, they are, they are diving in into some sort of routine that it's quite toxic and unhealthy for them. Okay. With the seven of wands, I feel this person doesn't want to talk about it. This person wants to push it away and they want to sweep it under the carpet, put it in a box uh, and close, close, the, you know, close the box and say, I don't want to deal with it, it's done. It's, I want to forget about this. The thing is that they, 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 they are unable to do that because um, it's heavily waiting on their shoulder with the 10 of wants this person wants to drop this burden but this sort of lifestyle is is it's not providing them this opportunity they need to change it they need to heal they need to face those inner de demons issues and stop pushing those issues away and face the reality this person needs to heal because the cups <laughs> you know those addictions won't heal them no this is like a like a moment of fixing a problem right like someone will take a <laughs> pill for a headache and and it's gone but but it, it doesn't give us a reassurance that headache will never come back this person needs to once and for all solve their problems and stop uh, diving into this sort of uh, toxic and quite 
un not quite very unhealthy habits. Nine of Cups. When it comes to this connection, Scorpio, this person sees you as they wish fulfillment, but this is also someone who likes. Oh, and we have the tower at the bottom of the deck. As I was thinking about that, I was surprised that the tower didn't show up because a tower it's showing Scorpio that the spirit will implement some sort of change if this person wants it or not. And I feel that universe again has been giving this person many chance, many chances, sorry, to change. You can have a new beginning. If you want to, you need to do the work. It's not easy, I understand, but you have it. You have a possibility to do that. You have people, you have Scorpio who cares for you, who wants to help you. But if you're going to be dismissive and if you're going to be defensive and, and not recognize or, or not, um, or, or not wanting to deal with the problem in its it, it's very root, then I will implement a change if you like it or not because tower it's that change that it's people can't escape tower they can't do it they can of course the tower can be it is uh, always a shocking energy but with regards to, you know, it depends on surrounding cards. It can be a nice surprise, but always shocking, something unexpected. And when I see this person's energy, spirit is saying here that at some point this, this change, this person will face a very sudden, unexpected, shocking and challenging change because they can, and it will be for their own good because they have to stop the pattern. And that's the pattern. You see, this person is enjoying the drink or whatever that is, like a self-indulgence, I think. That's the right way to say it. Card. I feel very strongly, Scorpio, that you are dealing here with someone who has issues from the day past. They, um, they projected th those issues in this connection. And it's, it seems like a lost opportunity because there is love. There is a potential to have a very nice connection with this individual. But, but this person needs to change. You need two to the tango, right? It is a two-way street. And if someone is like this, focusing on or trying to distract themselves in that unhealthy way then I'm not surprised that you might have to walked away because it's just draining nothing is changing and it makes you feel very unhappy they need to stop pushing the problem and they need to face their issues in order to resolve in order to have some sort of happy and and normal life Okay, all right, let's take a look at this person's feelings towards you, Scorpio. There you go, we have the tower. Mm -hmm. So it might be a case the spirit actually imp impose a certain change in this person, on this person's life. you please show me this person's feelings towards Scorpio we have the the tower we have an ace of wands we have the Emperor and we have a six of wands at the bottom of the deck stubborn energy four of Pentacles and hermit Okay, so you might be dealing with Virgo, Scorpio. I also have Aries energy very strongly. It's coming forward and your energy, Scorpio. So this person is thinking about you. This is someone who wants to be victorious. They want your attention, but this is a very stubborn energy. This person, um, they don't want to give up on their stability or on their habits. 
but they also want to be control over their feelings i feel and over this connection this is someone who is going through something quite drastic with the tower there is a sudden realization enlightenment when it comes to this person feelings towards you that's why they're coming here very emotional because i feel this person realized that they truly truly care or that they love you but again the question is 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 it enough if someone has been a nightmare or has been acting in a certain way they might you know they might love you but is it enough because the quality of life it's it's affected by this person habits the quality of of connection it's affected of this person's habits they are here undertaking um, this is a shocking unexpected change that brings chaos and this is how this person feels about you they are I feel this person is devastated Scorpio they are devastated they want to change the circumstances with the ace of wands so they want to send a message they want to come forward they want to meet up they want to do something about it they want to change it with the emperor and with the six of wands but again this is an individual who is who likes to be in control who likes things being on their own term with the four of pentacles i miss you i want you i want to be with you but i'm okay the way i am no you're not that's the point and i feel that frustration when I read these cards, when it comes to your energy, Scorpio. This person feels very lonely. They are very deep in their feelings. And look, they are holding the lateran with the star. And on your side, we have a star energy. This person is thinking about you, Scorpio. They are really, really thinking about you. They are very deeply in their thoughts. They are realizing that they need to change, but I don't see them wanting to do that. This person wants to be next to you. This person wants your attention. I feel this person wants, wants your care, okay? Because this is an individual who is very lonely, who at the end of the day, it's by their own or by their own feelings. They can have many people around them, but but at the end of the day, this is someone who who is by their own because people have their own lives. They they and that's the reality. And I can feel that it is a very very complex personality you're dealing here with. Therefore, not many people will will, will be up for a challenge because this is a challenge, Scorpio. I feel this person created obstacles and it's a challenge themselves but they they indeed want they want your attention they feel this um, that you are maybe leaving them behind or they feel the distance and it's shocking this person it's it's very hard for them uh, to not see you around or you not giving that not giving them that much of attention because i feel that you withdraw or you are trying to withdraw your your, your energy from this individual let's take a look at the uh intentions could you please show me this person's intentions towards scorpio could you please show me this person's intentions towards scorpio Please show me this person's intentions towards Scorpio. This person's intentions towards Scorpio, please. We have a five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Eight of wands. 
queen of wands at the bottom of the deck we have the chariot let's cut the deck we have the high priestess okay listen to your intuition scorpio for some of you and this is very specific scorpio this person uh it's planning to communicate to send you a message and essentially they might ask you for money because they are broke okay okay or they are in some sort of financial difficulty because of their lifestyle so that's very specific it won't resonate with all of you but it might be a case here for someone okay so that's in their intentions for someone here their intention is to communicate with you in order to kind of they will say could you help me financially uh, I'm not doing well and the reason why they're not doing well because um, financially because of they of their lifestyle listen to your intuition Scorpio with the high precious we have a chariot this is someone who wants to take initiative they want to have a victory they want to kind of a uh, put things in motion let's say it that way okay you might be dealing with uh, cancer I also have Scorpio uh, uh, Pisces energy and I don't feel you see that coming okay therefore spirit is saying listen to your intuition because you might get some sort of kind of a feeling but for some of you that it will be something unexpected okay their main intention Scorpio is again to be in touch with you because this person doesn't want to feel lonely anymore they are longing for you they are missing you this is someone who feels completely left out in the cold and they don't want to feel that way you can expect from this person uh, many compliments I feel they will show some sort of affection I feel mainly they will say you are so beautiful I've been missing you can we be in touch can we meet up okay and they want to undertake this action but listen to your intuition Scorpio because spirit here is guiding you let's see their actions we have a four of pentacles again could you please show me this person's actions towards Scorpio this person's actions towards Scorpio this person's actions towards Scorpio please this person's actions towards Scorpio this person's actions towards Scorpio Thank you. The King of Wands. We have a Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Seven of Pentacles and we have the Two of Swords. Scorpio, I feel this person will communicate with you because it's in their intentions. Their intention, I know that it is, you know, some, someone who is planning. I intend to communicate. but in their feelings they have also some sort of action for your connection we have this page of cups which also represents some sort of form of affection uh, delivered by the message or phone call i feel this person will communicate but it's scorpio here is the thing this is someone who is way too rooted in day in their habits they are stuck they don't want to change this person is stubborn they feel they feel that they bring a lot to the table that you know they are completely in control over this sort of lifestyle here the truth is that it's not because we have this devil energy that it's holding them back and we have an eight of swords that mindset and moon you might be dealing scorpio with an earth sign i have taurus virgo capricorn They are here at the crossroads you know this is someone who is in this is someone who is in denial this person is in denial that's what i wanted to say with the two of swords they deeply inside my feel being at the crossroads because well that's pretty obvious this person knows that they have issues that they should deal with it 
But two of swords also represents uh, this energy, with depending on the reading and, and cards, energy of being in denial, not, 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 not wanting to deal with the problem. No, 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 I, I, I am blocking myself, uh, or it's fine. This person is blindfolded, you know, they don't see things for, for what they truly are. And this is someone who has a problem. They need a serious change of lifestyle here. And they need to um, heal. But for now, Scorpio, if this person will approach to you, will approach you or they will reach out. And if they will say, oh, I've changed, you know, I, I'm ready now for the certain. Um, I want to... Uh, I want to disconnect from this lifestyle, whatever the case might be. No, I don't see it and I need to be honest with you because this person is still in denial. That it's something that it's been for a long time. For some of you, this person has been in that kind of, on this path for seven years. This is like a long-term situation that requires them to heal Or to go some sort of facility to 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 heal themselves let's say it that way but this person doesn't want to do that it won't resonate of course with all of you but in general it shows Scorpio that this person has very unhealthy habits and it's like an es escapism they don't want to face or deal with some sort of issue from the past And um, they don't want to change this. This is someone who's invested in their habits. They don't want to change it. And they feel that it's okay. Denial. Let's take a look, Scorpio. Let's see. You might be thinking why we are connecting with this individual if you walked away from them. The, the reason why, as a collective, I feel that for, 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 for a lot of you, this person is thinking about you. Okay, and I feel they're thinking to reach out to you. That's why they're showing up in this reading, in, in your energy. Okay, let's see. Could you please show me some messages of love for Scorpio and for this connection, please? Chemistry. Mm hmm You please show me more let's see Scorpio what do we have support passion interference balance and we have weight mm -hmm. so there is no doubt that it, this 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 connection has been very passionate we have the lovers right so it, it speaks for itself strong passion between the two of you insane chemistry i feel i feel with the support card i feel that you have been very supportive towards this person you were very supportive you wanted them to you wanted to help them guide them in the right direction and we have this interference card an external party is intr intruding on this relationship, and uh, that's that's what I was that's what I am seeing throughout this reading, Scorpio. That some sort of part of ex some sort of form of external party being intruding, affecting this connection. And for some of you, is this person's habits, this person's um, addictions, lifestyle. And that's the problem, the main problem. Spirit is seeing here, saying here, wait, the timing, it's not quite right. Because this person has to heal, they do the work. Otherwise, I don't feel that there is a much of a, we'll see as an overall outcome, but throughout this reading, Scorpio, I need to be honest with you, this is someone who doesn't want to change. 
they might tell you that they're changing you know spirit is trying to give this this person it has been trying to give this person many many chances we have the tower energy so i feel that universe is pushing this person it's 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 trying to t implement some sort of change you need to change the change it's coming you can't fight it you need to deal with it it's in their feelings but still this person is very uh, resistant to change even with this tower energy they are they are realizing yes the enlightenment is there but it's about feelings this person feels very strongly about you they feel the, this this kind of um, they miss you incredibly this person is realizing that you know that they messed things up that it created chaos but still this is a very very stubborn energy very stubborn energy that's why spirit is saying wait the timing is not quite right not yet this person needs to fully i feel that certain change it's happening or is it started happening in this person life and it started from their feelings and it of course it will go throughout the whole areas of their life that's why spirit is saying wait the time is not right this person has to go through this tower moment but fully in order to kind of understand something here that they need to stop pushing certain issues away because the, it won't disappear no one has a magic wand to kind of flip and yay everything is great no life it's challenging life it's life it's there are life it's beautiful but also can be very challenging or can some sort of you know um, as the Beatles were saying it's a long and windy road right and I feel this person has to deal with it has to deal with those uh, those issues those issues and we have balance it's very important Scorpio to have firm boundaries with this individual when they will reach out to you but it's also very it's it also emphasizes here that one person is giving too much in this relationship and this is what i was getting here that you've been giving too much into this relationship and this person was a taker and what they gave give back what and what they gave back was lies and making you feel very unhappy you feeling emotionally depleted okay so let's take a look Scorpio life is beautiful but of course it can be difficult the thing is that this person makes the situation difficult and they need to change it they really need to change it Okay, let's take a look, Scorpio, uh, overall, overall outcome for the near future, for your connection with this person. Scorpio, could you please show me another outcome for this? We have a seven of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have a six of pentacles so overall outcome seven of pentacles scorpio i don't feel here that you can expect a massive change okay because this is a passive energy seven of pentacle represents patience and you know wait uh, some sort of kind of waiting game <laughs> but overall I, I strongly feel here scorpio that uh, with the seven of pentacles things won't change uh, immediately okay so if we're talking about the outcome for 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 immediate future for the three four five days I, I i can't see any significant change when it comes to this connection okay so things will stay as they are as an overall energy for this readings we have a six of pentacles yes this is this balance card 
Spirit is emphasizing that someone here was giving way too much and the other, uh, an, another party or other party was giving back only few things, you know, um, not much or not enough. For instance, I feel that this person was giving you attention, affection, love only when it was convenient for them. there was or there is a lack of balance in this connection and that has to be restored but the problem is that if this person doesn't want to collaborate then you can't work with them right and i feel that's why we started your energy with the eight of cups that you you are making or you already made a decision that you want to detach and disconnect from this situation and from this individual because it's just you might feel that it, it, it is like a lost cause. You, you were giving this person many chances. You, I feel that, you know, for some of you, you might be still hopeful that things can change. And that's fair enough, absolutely. Because we have a, the lovers. The love is there between the two of you, Scorpio. But I feel that as much as you are hopeful, I feel that you see the sense of direction you see the things for what they are and you are just you've decided or you are deciding to detach from the situation because this person needs to change and they need to want to change because if someone doesn't want to change what, what else we can do okay i would leave it here scorpio Thank you so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope that this reading was of help. I wish you all the very best. And once again, Scorpio, thank you for your time, for your patience, for your generosity, for your kindness towards me. Thank you so, so very much. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, Scorpio. Take care. Bye.